Hello, hello, boys and girls, this is Anders Hill, of course, and oh yes, welcome to another The Sweet Box video. Basically, where I read your emails and uh, answer questions or, yeah, basically kind of a bit random stuff, but uh, all from uh, gaming related, life related, and YouTube related, and all that kind of good stuff. Uh, as usual, it is Tribes Ascend, uh, simply because uh, Tribes Ascend isn't getting the views it needs to for me to upload regular, but I still love the game, still like to play it, and since I do the sweet box videos, and I think you guys want something to look at whilst I talk and not just a black screen with text popping up now and then, uh, you guys get tribes of sand in pretty much every the sweet box video, and I hope you guys are fine with that because that's how it's gonna be. <laughs> uh, if you have any questions uh, or opinions you want to ask me about, uh, send them to the email address below. Uh, and make sure you do not send anything else than the questions for the sweet box because if you do, you won't get any answers. Uh, I answer questions uh, of other kinds and stuff like that on Facebook and on YouTube. I will not do it in my email or in-game or anything like that. It's YouTube or Facebook. I recommend Facebook. There's there's where I answer actually most of the questions, so go and like my Facebook page if you want to ask me shit. Anyways, let's jump into the first question before we actually run out of a video I actually have. This is a really nice Tribes of Sand video. I was happy about it. So, uh, first question. Hey Poday, that's basically hello there in Swedish. Uh, I'm a 13 year old and I'm I really think I uh, think uh, Call of Duty and Battlefield are two really good games. I have tested those at my friend's place and when I got home uh, I asked my parents if I can buy them. Uh, they got pissed and take my computer uh, com computer for me for a week after they checked the trailer on Modern Warfare 3 on YouTube just because of the PG-18 mark. Uh, I think uh, that it is pure bullshit. I know there are few people in the world who uh, have started this talking people and even killing people. Uh, my parents think that I I'm guessing you mean like because of the game. Uh, my parents uh, think that I am going to be like uh, like that too if I start playing such games, but I am not that violent at all uh, Neither my friends if you ever if you ever uh, if you oh God, I'm sorry guys You guys know how bad I am at at, uh, at reading. Oh God, and now I lost my way. God damn it <laughs> If you even if if you ever even think about going out to a town with a gun and just mow down people like you do in game, you are sick and shouldn't be allowed to play 18 or 16 year old rated games. And uh, that's my opinion about that. Please tell me yours. Uh, slash me. Uh, I gotta say first off that I mean your parents are allowed to do whatever the fuck they want, of course, since since you're their kid. Uh, but I do not I don't I do not agree with them. Uh, it is it is simply stupid. Uh, how how I how I see parenting today? I mean, most parents do a great job of actually teaching their kids about life and how the world works. And if you actually are a parent and you think your kid is gonna be violent because they play a violent video game, then you're very very wrong. Only a sick person gets violent uh, because of playing video games. So I mean, sure, they, probably people have gone on a killing spree because they're playing Call of Duty or something else, but. Those people would have done that anyways, just by looking at a Rambo movie or something else. I mean, these are sick individuals we're talking about. These are not regular people, regular kids. And uh, the only, the only real good thing I think uh, the ratings on games and movies do to protect kids is maybe to protect like really young kids. But I mean, a 13-year-old kid. I mean, Harry's starting to grow on your, you're on your balls, and I mean, you're becoming a man. You should be able to watch. I mean, sure, you might get a, a nightmare or two. Sure, I still, I've got nightmares about like scary movies until I was like 15 almost. But I mean, you still have to see those kinds of things and learn how the world works. So, so of course, your parents are allowed to do whatever they want to use, or as long as it's not like illegal or very, very morally bad. But I do not agree with them. They're completely wrong. Uh, you should, I mean, if they if they choose to not buy you the game because 
they don't they don't want you to have the game because simply they want you to like play soccer or something like that instead that's cool or like they don't have the money to buy it that's also cool but to not buy it for you or not let you buy it if it's like your own money you made yourself because of the rating just because they watched a video on YouTube about the rating that is a stupid I sadly gotta say your parents are doing it wrong I, I hope they do a better job at the rest of your upbringing so to say so you turn out to be a good person but I mean there's nothing that is nothing that's gonna make you a bad person from playing Call of Duty so so in my opinion that, that's just silly I mean my parents were always very like they didn't really care about ratings I mean I tried to buy a game that was PG 15 I think when I was 13 I made the money myself and I don't know if I told it. I think I told this story in a video before, but simply the store clerk was like, no, 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 no. You gotta show me legit. You gotta show me your legitimation and uh, prove that you're 15. I'm like, I'm not 15. Why can't I buy the game? I mean, it's just a game. He's like, no, no. There's there's rule and laws about that now. And basically, I told I I went and told my mom. She was like, that's the most stupid shit I ever heard. Why can't you play it? computer game it's not like you're joining the army and she got angry and she bought me the game of course with my own money since I, I made sure to earn my own money uh, by by that age uh, simply because my, my parents never had that much money so I, and I, so she just thought that was super crazy and stupid and I actually agree with her as an adult I mean there's nothing in a video game that's gonna make you a bad person even the worst video games of all there's like video games where you where you I think it's, I don't, is it called hostile or hostel or something like that, I don't know. But basically go around like killing people and peeing on them and crap, like a, a really sick game. But not even a game like that would make you a bad person by playing it. I, it's it's just, it's just stupid, I, I don't know what to say. But I hope your parents uh, will realize their mistake. And I'm hoping they just use that as an excuse for like not having the money or something like that. Because simply... Uh, to, to go by those ratings are very very bad any parents listening to this uh, You should really think about this make sure you look at the game look. How does it look? Is it just a regular war game? Is there nothing else than a bit of blood and shooting then get your kid the game? He's gonna see a lot worse in all of the movies uh, that are in the theaters. That's PG-13 you know, PG-15 I mean video games are not bad trust me most kids who play a lot of video games actually have better concentration they get smarter and especially games like strategy games like starcraft and stuff like that is extremely good for a kid's development and basically logical thinking and stuff like that so i mean i would definitely get my kids games like that uh, but uh, an action game doesn't hurt either i mean trust me parents trust me this, this is this is how it works <laughs> don't be overprotective anyways let's go to the second question so we actually can get three questions in uh, hey man I'm a huge fan of your videos. First off, I want to thank you for making such entertaining videos. Thank you very much. I, I'm happy to give you good videos. I was actually sick for the uh, past weeks and the only thing keeping me sane was watching you, you lose yours. <laughs> Anyways, I know that uh, this question isn't really as in-depth as some of the other ones you get, but I was wonder wondering what you th thoughts were on the upcoming Ultra Hardcore, uh, like the game plan and so on. Uh, on a completely unrelated topic, I was wondering if you knew what Etho looked like and if you could uh, re... Br briefly, briefly, I guess, tell uh, to tell us, uh, uh, God, how how what Ether looks like, and if you could tell us, tell us, I don't know, you're crazy Canadian subscriber, Chris. I'm sorry, I'm just so bad at writing or reading most of the time. So hope you guys excuse me. I probably read that wrong. Mm. We actually haven't recorded the, the, the next season yet, believe it or not. Uh, basically, Good has had some uh, some uh, family, uh, not uh, not drama. I almost said drama, but basically, uh, uh, a loved one basically has passed away. So I don't know where when there's gonna be a next uh, ultra hardcore. Uh, it, it it might take a long time, and also I think we're waiting for for 
3 of Minecraft to release, so basically that, that's how things are right now, uh, but the game plan really killed other guys. <laughs> <laughs> get a lot of good stuff and kill other guys. We haven't even decided if it's gonna be team based or not yet But I guess uh, just just vote on the Minecraft reddit and stuff like that what you guys want to see Because last time you guys voted for for team teams of two uh, We actually had teams of two and me and Doc team, uh, teamed up and you guys seem to enjoy that extremely extremely much uh, On the unrelated question about Etho. I have actually no clue how he looks like uh, I gotta be honest and say that I sadly hardly know the guy. Mm, I have just talked on, with him on Skype like two... no, I don't even think I... maybe once in the very first episode of Ultra Hardcore I was in season 6. That That's about it. I mean, he wasn't in season 7. I, I basically took his place at Doc's side. So yeah, I mean, I... <laughs> <laughs> I sadly don't know guys, I have no clue, but even if I knew how Ethan looked like, I don't know if I would tell you guys if it is something he would like to keep pri uh, private, uh, because I don't want to be like the guy who's like blows the whistle and says like this is how Ethan looks like and this is where he lives, because that's not really my thing to do, that's... That's, that's something he should decide to do, so to say. <laughs> I don't know, but yeah. Uh, let's go to the third question before the time ends. Hey, Anders, I got some questions for you, and smiley with a tongue out. It's about YouTube and how they do their stuff. Uh, what do you think about their subscription thing, and what should be, be, be else if you don't like it? And what about the like slash dislike function? Is is that a good? Uh, is that good or should there only be likes or di dislikes or none? Med välnia hälsningar Jakob, aka Rain uh, Raincloth. <laughs> That's basically me, uh, with kind regards. Basically, P.S. Hope you picked this one. Uh, would like your thoughts on it. PPS as Danish Vikings are the best. Yeah. <laughs> um, I gotta say, I'm pretty disappointed with YouTube. I'm not disappointed with you guys or my videos or people on YouTube. I'm, I'm simply disappointed with how YouTube have been conducting their business lately. Uh, simply because, I mean, YouTube is my work. I do it for the money, uh, or I have to do it for the money because it's the only job I have right now. So the, the, that's the only thing that gives me money. And YouTube have done a lot of changes that basically make sure I make less money, get less views and less subscribers. Uh, luckily, uh, you guys have been very supportive, liking and favoriting videos. The guys on the Minecraft community have brought me a lot of new view viewers and subscribers too, so that's very good too and have helped out. But in general, I think YouTube, the changes they've done like the last year has been incredibly bad. I mean, there's, they're gonna change it again now, like how the front page looks like, and this is probably the only change this far, this the last 12 months that's actually have been a good change. Uh, it's gonna actually make it easier for you guys to find the videos I upload and to see if you watched the video already so you don't have to click and uh, click it again just because I add it into a playlist and stuff like that basically. So that's gonna be extremely nice actually. Uh, when it comes to dislikes and likes, I think that's perfect like it is. Uh, I, I don't think it should be like Facebook where you can only like. I think it's important that people can express their feelings and say that they dislike a video, for example. I think that is extremely, extremely important actually to, to how YouTube works. And uh, right now, I think a video gets better search results even if you have a lot of dislikes and likes simply because that means a lot of it, it has affected more people more people have found it interesting and stuff like that so yeah that's that's about it i hope you guys are satisfied and enjoyed the video as usual thank you guys for watching have a wonderful day bye bye <laughs>